Hi everybody, it's Tate and Nara here from Nanjing Marketing Group. This week I want to take a look at WeChat hashtags because that's a newer feature on WeChat and it's actually already gone through a couple of changes and I want to understand better how we use that for marketing. And Nara and other people in our company that are doing social marketing are the ones that have actually been doing the tests. So I'm going to ask her and I'm going to um, actually pretend that I'm a total noob here. I'm going to ask her some things I know and some things I don't. So, okay. Nara, um, what are WeChat hashtags? Okay, so uh, for the WeChat hashtags, actually it's similar to Weibo hashtags. Also, we can see like LinkedIn and also Facebook. They all have the hashtags function. So uh, I let me show you some examples about the uh, WeChat hashtags. Uh, recently, when we check some WeChat articles and also some moments, we can see it. It's just like this. Uh, you can see there are three hashtags here in this article. Um, okay, and the hashtags are showing up uh, near the top there, by the top of the article, right? Yes, and okay. the interview says uh, these are uh, already included by the hashtags one, two, three. And the hashtags here are added by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Um, and to add the hashtags, any account can do it, like any official account, right? Uh, not only accounts. Actually, when our individuals, our, I mean personal users, if we want to uh, add or if we want to uh, check, also create some hashtags, that's all okay to do. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this, this one is one of the articles. I just want to show you how it looks like in articles. And... Uh, uh, when you found it in the article, you click it. For example, can, uh, uh, study abroad in Canada. Um, you can see a lot of articles relate to this topic. Um, mm -hmm. The first okay. arrow here. Mm -hmm. hold, okay. hold on. So you were on the account of Cambrian Sudbury, mm -hmm. and then you click through to this Janada um, Leosia, which is like Canada study yeah. abroad. And so now are you seeing articles that are just from Cambrian Sudbury or are you seeing articles from all different sources or, or what? I could say the first of you, you can see the articles relate to our, uh, this account, I mean, Cambrian mm -hmm. uh, Sudbury. Uh, but because uh, study abroad in Canada, it's a super big topic. So under that, you can see some other articles from other official accounts right here okay. are they mm -hmm. all right so from the point of view of cambrian sudbury they can use this to organize their content to show to people but then it's also going to yeah. let people see content from other places as well so we could potentially like an account like cambrian sudbury could gain mm -hmm. traffic like this if their articles are also showing up below these other accounts, but below the hashtags in other places, right? Yes. Um, actually, another point I want to add is uh, you can see these articles, they don't have a lot of uh, clicks and uh, uh, views. Mm. Um, I think uh, because WeChat uh, came out this function from last year, uh, I think it may uh, have some relationship with the WeChat SEO because WeChat SEO is um, a kind of uh, a way to do SEO on WeChat. People, we, we just know how to, we just know the concept, but mm -hmm. uh, about how to do it, nobody knows the rules. So maybe just we can guess uh, this kind of hashtags. It has some relationship with the WeChat SEO. So you can do something to increase the ranking. Uh, and you can uh, do something to show your account and your articles uh, to this era. Right, yeah, because hashtags are on all sorts of different social platforms and actually using them can, uh, well, you kind of have to get a feel for the platform to feel out how to use them, you know. I, I just, I don't really know mm -hmm. how to use them very well on, on WeChat yeah. yet. I, I think it is the way that we're using them mostly just to, organize the content of our own sites and we're not really thinking a lot about the search and, and browse functionality. We're not really thinking about bringing in new people to mm -hmm. the accounts through hashtags yet, are we? Um, sometimes we will also create some uh, hashtags with like uh, special words. 
For example, I can show you some other examples like this one, Cameron College. For uh, this one, it's not very, there are not a lot of users search for this word. So you can see almost all the articles are from our account yeah. and we cannot see other articles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but th that's because we chose a hashtag that's very specific to that account. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Whereas if people are, end up actually using the hashtag as much for things like study abroad, that's very general and we could start to get traffic from articles with hashtags like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also if you want to know more uh, information related to this hashtag, you can just uh, subscribe it like this. You can see the green button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, it says after I subscribe it, every time when people uh, publish articles or some news related to that uh, uh, with that uh, hashtag, it will be shown. Yeah. It will be showing this error in my sub. I I think the most important function is is, is like this. For example, if I uh, publish, if I uh, send the hashtag to my like my friends or to uh, to my moments. After you click this hashtag, you can see a lot of information. This is what we talked a lot in the morning because it's totally different from the view when we check the from our uh, articles. Hmm. So if uh, you, you can see the order is totally different. Uh, if you click the hashtag from the articles, you can see the first arrow is our uh, own articles. But uh, if you click okay. this one from moment or uh, some groups or just uh, uh, the message you send to your friends, you right. can see the first uh, page is the video accounts. Okay, okay. So it's showing the video accounts up top. And then next up it's showing, uh, oh, these are moments. people that, these are moments related from, from mm -hmm. your friends? Yes. Okay. These are all my friends' moments. Right, okay. So this is what I wanted to see. And then down here we have <laughs> oh, the hashtags that are related to some services and then official uh -huh. account articles. Official accounts, articles. Yeah, yeah right. correct. So there is a lot of stuff there. You can uh, use these mm -hmm. hashtags to sort through a lot of content. I, I wonder if it's going to end up very useful for users or not because hashtags uh, can be pretty easy to abuse. Uh. I think um, for users, it will, it will be useful. For example, if we use Cambrian as an example, their students can just click the Cambrian hashtag and they can mm -hmm. see all the articles, all the accounts and the videos. So that would be convenient for users to get information. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, another, another feature that we are not clear right now is how uh, Tencent, uh, how WeChat uh, choose the ranking here because we can see a lot of uh, video accounts and videos but mm -hmm. uh, why this one is the first one and uh, uh, why only these accounts are here the, uh, these functions are not clear enough right now mm -hmm. right okay we'll I can keep, just uh, keep testing to mm -hmm. see what we can figure out with that yeah correct mm -hmm. 